Hey guys, Malkuth1974 coming back at ya with another episode. This time I'm bringing you a little tutorial, my first tutorial. Uh, something I really like, logistic pipes. This tutorial will only cover basic logistic use, more likely using a sorting machine. For all us guys out there that doesn't have red power, this is the best way to get an actual sorting machine. I have a link to these pipes for 1.42 if you are using 1.42 of Minecraft or uh, like in my Let's Play, I'm using 1.42 and Feed the Beast and a bunch of other mods that I've added together. So what we're going to use for this uh, basic sorting system and calling system I'm going to call it is we need the actual basic logistic pipe this handles all your logistic needs uh, it's needed pretty much on every chest and in every type of junction system for it knows where to send the item uh, the provider logistic pipe is also hooked to chest its sole purpose is to be used with the request logistic pipe. When you request something from the logistic pipe, uh, it will pull it out of the chest, and the provider logistic pipe is what pulls it out of the chest. And we'll get more to that a little bit later. And of course, we need regular stone pipe to actually uh, run the long length of the system. Uh, the basic logistic pipe, built basic with glass, gold gears, a diamond transport pipe, and redstone. Alternatively, you can actually use redstone golden chipsets. Now these chipsets are built in the assembly machine, which is a build craft kind of an end of game thing. So even though it's cheaper to use these other than the gold gears, you save something along, I think you save one you save one gold bar pretty much. Um, all the recipes for uh, all the logistic pipes have this option now where you can use a certain red, uh, gold uh, chipset which is cheaper than using a gold gear but unfortunately you need to have the assembly table with the lasers and obviously it takes some time to actually make all these chips so matters what your preference is. If you want to use gold gear that's fine. If not uh, don't. <laughs> so that's how you make the basic logistic pipe. Uh, the provider logistic pipe is all it is is a basic logistic pipe and a glowstone dust. Oh, by the way, it doesn't you get eight logistic pipes when you do this recipe? This is obviously a one-on-one -on -one type of recipe, same as if you were uh, uh, using, you know, making conductive pipe. It's the same idea. So glowstone and the basic logistic pipe. And the request, or the request logistic pipe is two gold gears and the basic logistics. But the same rule applies if you want to use the golden chipset, you are free to do that. Alright, so let's go over here and we'll check out the basic. The first part of the system, the sorting system. Uh, when you start out a sorting system, usually you want a chest that will you put all your stuff in and it will automatically be sorted into whatever chest you have set. So, what you need to do, I already have this all set up, you got your redstone engine right there, and you need a basic logistic pipe. Now, everything that this redstone engine pulls out will go into this logistic pipe and it will automatically know where it's supposed to go once we get it hooked up. So for every chest that I have, I could have three up to 200, I guess. It matters what you have in the chest. I'm going to put another logistic pipe on each one, same as that one. And we will connect these. But first, there's one new rule with logistic pipes that you might not see on some of the older tutorials on this. There's been a new block added. All logistic pipes now have to have a power system. And that power system is called the logistic power junction. You need to have it hooked up to either build craft engines 
or you can use industrial craft engines too to put power to this. Uh, the better deal is actually uh, build craft engines because for every one build craft uh, MJ you get five power for this. Actually it says it right here. One MJ equals five uh, whatever this <laughs> LP stands for and one EU which is uh, industrial craft only equals two. So you're better off with the engines no matter what and basically what this does it stores a, a huge amount of power I mean once you get it powdered up it will last a long 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 time once you get it going so you need one more basic logistic pipe hooked into the system as you notice the colors look a little bit different that means it has power and it's green it means you're all set but it has to be hooked into the system and the quickest way to hook it in the system is just to have it be part of the actual system just like this now that's powered this is powered and this is powered I'm going to hook the rest of these up and now all these are powered as you notice once your links are hooked up they turn green what happens if uh, like uh, this one this pipe right here if I broke this pipe I lose the red here. This would turn red. That means that this is a dead pipe, and I lose the red hit. Uh, the red, I'd have red here, which means this is a dead pipe. But you hook them back up. You got green. So that's what the greens mean. That means that they're green. They can go that way. This one, obviously, if I put one right here, it'd be red, no matter what I, how many I added to it. Uh, to edit, to look at any of these pipes, you need the Buildcraft wrench. So, there it is, Buildcraft Wrench. You can look in here. Now, if you want to set up, with these pipes, you have to set up the system. If you're going to use this as a sorting system, and you're not going to have uh, the pipes decide for you, you have to put the things in the requested items. So, let's say I want glass in here, glowstone, and gold pipes in here. Uh, and in this one, I want my engines and my auto crafting tables and my redstone golden ship sets and that. Ooh, let me change the time. Morning. And in this one, we're going to leave it empty. But you might have noticed one thing. The default route on these is all set to no. If you have this set up for uh, in your requested items, do not change this. Because what will happen is, I'll show you in a second. This one we're going to keep empty, but we're going to set the default route to yes. Which means that any item that I send, to this, ah, send through the system that is not in the requested items slot will automatically go to the chest that has a default root of yes set and I'll show you what that means in a second so we'll keep these at no we'll keep these at no so let's go over here now we know that we set in I'll set in a bunch of these We'll set these in, we'll set these in, we'll set these in, we'll set these in. I'll set slime, set these in. Let's go watch the system work. It's all now getting sorted. As you can tell, all the stuff that doesn't have a box set up for it, it goes down in that one. I think it already did it too quick. If we open this, the glowstone all went in here, which is what we have set up. Glowstone in the glass. I didn't put any of the diamonds in. I'll show you that right now. We'll show those right there. The engine will show them through. It's pretty quick. The system is very quick. And bang, 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 bang. There's your sorting machine right there. Uh, this one took the biogas engine and the redstone golden things which is what I had set up I didn't put any of the crafting tables in there this one does have nothing set up but it has a default route set to yes 
which everything that is not in the system will go there. So that's a good way, say you, uh, you have a new item and you don't know where to go, the system will automatically put it in the chest that's set to default or whatever chest you also have set as default. You can actually set this to default. It will still accept these items, but it will also accept all the items that are not known to the system. All right, now for the provider part. You can hook these up just like that. We'll want to do the same thing that we did before. I have, pretend this is a regular crafting table. What I did in my my world is that I had my crafting table set up here and I set this down like this and then I hooked up uh, where'd it go? The request logistic pipe just like that. Now how the request logistic pipe works is when you click on it with the wrench you get this list of things that are in your system and all you need to do to get the item is select it uh, you can change it with the plus one or you can add the plus two or this one actually does stack stack by stack by stack whichever way you want to do it uh, we'll get more into it in another video about the crafting part and the supply we're doing the supply part right now so there's, I don't have 64, so it will not be able to actually do that request. But I do have four, so I'll request three. The system says it has no energy because I never hooked it up into this system. The easiest way to do that is to go just like that. Now we all got power. Just wanted to show you guys that. If you ever got that that message that means you're not hooked into your energy system over there so four one two three request request successful they're gonna pop out boom boom <laughs> uh oh looks a little lost over there boom what I did here is actually another mistake and I wanted to show you guys this mistake before you actually saw it. See how I have it set up different here? Well, what happens here is that if you go outside the system like this and you're using regular buildcraft pipes, what you are doing is you're bypassing the logic of these gates and you're using the buildcraft system where it hits a junction and it goes, oh, I can either go this way or this way. So half the time it's going to go this way. The other half the time it's going to go that way. So what happens is it hits the logistic pipe and it goes, hey, I, you're not supposed to be here. And it sends it back out. So then it comes over here and it goes, oh, I'm supposed to go that way or this way. It, changed, it chose this way and it came back out. Now I'm supposed to go this way. I created a loop or a slope that slowed. Eventually it got over to me, but you don't want your system set up this way. So, you want it set up the way I have it over here. It hooks right into the system, and it's going to go straight through. There's no build craft. It's going to override any of these things, and you're all set. You can do the same thing over here, and I'll show you another mistake that you can make. Let me get this out of the way first. Uh, another mistake you can make if you accidentally hook this up from your uh, supply chest over here. What's going to happen is that it's going to come here and it's going to do the same thing. It's going to go, oh look, I can go this way or that way. So half the time the items are going to go this way, the other half they're going to go that way. So when they go this way, you're going to get items into this chest that you do not want on in there since we actually have that set up with this. So you want to watch out for those loops and you don't want to have that kind of burden on you. So use your pipe. Uh, the reason I do this way is because sometimes you can request a lot of items. There's not enough items in here to do it. But say I request all these items. I request all my items. Uh, I want that. I want this. I want the sign. 
you know, I'm getting like 800 items. Well, what can happen is you're automatically crafting, and while you're crafting, your items will actually be going into your block, and you can actually start building stuff with it. That's why I have it so close to my crafting table, the request thing. Because you no longer need to actually manually go into these chests to get your stuff um, when you're crafting. And later on I'll show you guys in another video about how you can use the system to actually start auto crafting for you. But for now, that's it. This is basically a basic setup of... Uh, ah, what am I thinking here? Of a sorting system using these pipes. It works good. It's a good alternative to red power since we don't have red power right now in Feed the Beast or 1.42 or 1.32 for that matter. So, thanks guys for watching. Uh, this is Malkuth 1974 saying bye. I'll see you in the next video where we'll get into auto crafting and next, yeah, we'll do auto crafting next video. Okay, bye.